Coronavirus testing in Arizona has been limited, and that is making it tough to tell exactly how many cases are actually out there. But now researchers over in Tempe, they are looking to wastewater. Yes, we said wastewater as a better way to track the spread of COVID-19. Our Max Gordon has been speaking to the head of this project today. Max, very interesting. What did he tell you? Well, seeing this all started about two years ago in an attempt to track opioids in Tempe's wastewater. Now they're going to use similar techniques to track COVID-19, and they say this could potentially be a game changer. According to ASU researchers, there's a lot to be learned by what we flush away. You know, when you want to find out about your health, where do you go? To your doctor, and you want diagnostics run. They are run on urine and stool. And so we're doing the same thing, but our patient is the city and neighborhoods. And with the country on high alert over the coronavirus pandemic, they're looking for signs of COVID-19 that show up in wastewater. You can think of it like a um, Doppler radar. So we are out there from you know 10,000 feet and uh, surveying the health of the community. And if we see a cluster of infections, then we can have a one-two punch and we can have an emergency response move in and uh, help to diagnose uh, who is sick and help them to get better. Wastewater testing is able to pick up a wider group of people than individual tests can account for, including people who might have the virus but are asymptomatic. Better information on what we're dealing with, the trends we're dealing with, where we're at. Though some might have privacy concerns. We're not going to um, be pinpointing certain people um, on you know what they're doing and what's going down their um, sewer system, so to speak. Um, so that's why we're, we're doing a very wide area. Still, city leaders are hoping that the data from this testing can be key when it comes to safely opening up the city of Tempe and that this technology can spread across the country. So that we get a real-time readout of where we are at and uh, we don't, you know, uh, kind of put a burden on the economy and, and on the livelihood of people by having, you know, unnecessary ordinances in place. Well, currently, wastewater data on the coronavirus isn't publicly available for the city of Tempe, but city leaders do tell me that that data should be available in the coming weeks. Guys, back to you.